That's really not the best place for her to sell she seashells. <sighs> By the seashore? Not, uh, not really smart marketing. I mean... Hey, buy my seashells! Oh, hold on. Yeah. These? Damn! Okay. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid drinks. This is Corbin. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Hey, sell seashells by the seashore. And uh, Peter, Peter, you can follow us on Instagram, peppers. Twitter for more juicy content. Rubber baby Facebook buggy bumpers. Also, come subscribe and the like button to help the algorithm. And thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Yes, very much. For your patronage, my lords. And today we have a best ever food review show. What? And I don't know why we missed this one, but I guess we did. This is India's best breakfast costs 14 cents. Amazing Punjabi street food. Awesome. Somebody sent me this, said, uh, I don't think you ever got into this one, uh, but it'll cool. probably remind you of probably your time of, yeah. in uh, Amritsar. I'm, I was going to say. And yes. That is the best food I had in all of India. And the best breakfasts I've ever had in my life oh. are Indian breakfasts. I would eat it every day. Um, I eat your mom every day. Whoa, you whoa! <laughs> It is like super flaky. Oh, I know what that is. That is nuts. I love the texture already. I'm inside a gorgeous. I can't even wait. I'm sorry. Amritsar in Punjab. This is North India, just a few miles away from the Pakistani border, home to the great Temple and tons of world class oh. food, including street food yes. that can be found almost anywhere. This man has a restaurant on his bike. Today we're going to focus on a classic of Amritsar, chole, in all its glorious forms. Delicious. We've had a renowned spiced chicken yeah. curry that grabs your taste buds and never lets go. Why so does good. Amritsar love chole? so much. Um, it's sort of best known for its spices. You know, they make it from their hands, directly from field to the kitchen. In this town, chickpeas are in fashion. And who better to show me the wild world of chole than fashion blogger chole. Kitcha. So he puts on some more butter. Yeah, it's ghee. Guys, calm down. It's ghee. Who we'll need a chef <laughs> putting his life on the line for our taste buds? Gorgia! Oh, put it in my hand? Yes. Gorgia! Insane. I'll be introduced All guys, to put it in my hand. Wait, ingredients. what? What kind of pickle is that? It looks like a little chicken egg. And even iconic street food that dates back to the Hindustan era, when Pakistan and India were one. We are going to have the Bigao or Kulcha. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. Today we're going on a food tour so epic, even paparazzi can't help but get a peek <laughs> of the action. Let's chole. <laughs> Location one is bringing the heat. Perfect for cooking the best bread I've ever laid lips on in India. But first, fashion. As a person of fashion, what do you think about my headband? It's looking good. It's different. Is it something that you would try? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, I didn't expect any of that. Aside from fashion, today we are getting into food, especially chole. Chole is a chickpea curry, right? Yeah. This dish is famous all over the city. Why does Amritsar love chole Because so it's delicious. Will I be able to handle it, Mr. White Bread here? Yes. It's not just a Corbin can handle it. A multitude of breads to eat it with. It's called kulcha. Kulcha. It's made of white flour. It's our best kulcha, I think. Very tasty. But uh, Basically, after this location, you can stop watching because we went to the best one first. All right, let's go. Here, the bread making operation is underway. This is the white flour dough in Madra. And they do the stuffing there. The stuffing is of potatoes, onions, and spices. Oh, so this is stuffed. It's not yeah. just bread. This is called I made them. bread stuffed with You really on the channel, onion, yeah. Grated cauliflower, coriander leaves, and green chilies. Once stuffed and flung over to the cooking station, this insane man risks his extremities in order to roast it up in a fiery hot tandoor oven. This is the tandoor where they're cooked. And inside first time I ever saw an oven like that hot. was oh, in Iran. When no, I was a little kid, they cooked no the bread in the restaurant, and I remember sitting next to it, amazed, and it there. was delicious. You, do you don't want to burn the hair off your arms? Okay. I'm going to try it, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Yes? It's going to be hot. Be careful. 
I got it. All right, it's pretty good. Good? It's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deli's really impressed. It is slathered in butter, but our meal is still missing the main course. We've got our cool John, and here is the chole. Chole is made with chickpeas, and then it's all about the spices, including green chilies, chana masala, red chili They have butter, that at the Indian masala, food place on Topanga and Sherman Way. Because the, their kitchen is, there's a lot of Punjabi stuff there. The restaurant I go to, Baba Sweets, uh, all the time. They, they do? They're all Punjabi. Uh. We've got our chole, we've got our chutney. Punjabi. And we need to assemble it. Oh, we put it inside. Uh, they're all Punjab. This is how we eat it. They put a oh! butter on here. I will be really amazed. Oh, I miss you that so much in India. Oh. You think you can? Yes, I can. Because I've had okay. two here, so and they were good, but they did not live up to what I remember tasting. We have to eat this three more times. It's like one of my favorite things I've ever put in my mouth besides right, your mother. <laughs> This guy. Yeah. Unlike any chole I've ever had, buttery, rich, toasty, flaky bread. Look at that. Kind of gentle, really good spice. Mmm. It is so perfect. This is one of those meals that makes you forget that you're eating vegetarian food. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Good choice. You're not mo the greatest vegetarian food ever. This Indian. Indian. is like a short order fast food joint. And these guys are fast. And you gotta be fast too if you're hoping to get served. This place is really competitive. You gotta be quick. If you do manage to make it to the front of the counter, you'll witness pure Whoa. magic. Do you know what is so special about the chole here? It's all about spicy. So very good chole, good masala. What kind of bread are we getting? We're gonna take mud beans. What is that? It's something crunchy and it's fried. So they're making it right down here. He puts it together in about two seconds. It's a crunchy one on the bottom. Wow. Wow. This is called chutney and these are the chane. What is chane? Chole and chane are the same thing. Oh, same thing. So they put this cracker on the bottom and then they put on some chane, a little onion, some chilies, and... When I was with your mom, chane. the cracker Sorry, was on the bottom. You. Let's go eat. So we've got our dish right here. I noticed they gave me two me. chilies. But why don't you have any chilies? I don't like chilies. You don't like spicy food? Oh. Very spicy, I got it. Okay, this is a pickle? Blasphemous. What kind of pickle is that? It looks like a little chicken egg. It's called amla. What vegetable is it? Amla. It's called amla? Yeah. Great. And here's a Google image of that. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that. What kind me of neither. What vegetable is this? <laughs> here, Google images. So we didn't see it the first time. That's what we're eating right now. It looks now. like but a kind vegetable. of grape. Mmm. Super savory, super heavy. So we're gonna break that crispy shell on the bottom. Ready? One, two, three. Cheers. Mmm. That is very rich, very heavy. Like it's crispy, it's fried. Right, crispy, fried kind of bread. Would you even call it a cracker, maybe? Cracker. I'd call Corbin a cracker. cracker. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm gonna get another big bite. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> The cracker is soaking up all that chole. Super he is, savory. yeah. Kind of like Especially when he's naked, cracker. laying in a vat of it. Soggy on the inside. The onion in there. Are you soggy on the inside? Is yes. This like kind of a Indian fast food. Basically, it's breakfast for everyone. It's so affordable, it's safe, coming only ten rupees. Oh. Oh. Unexpected breakfast. It's very energy packed. Ten rupees. That's all. You know how much a, a pack of pop tarts is? <laughs> That's like street chai. Our next location offers a dish akin to taking a bite of history with a recipe that predates the Hindustan era. We have reached our third destination right behind us. And guys, I hope you're not sick of chole because we're having some more chole. <laughs> What's special about this place? Well, we are going to have the Bibawa kulcha. It's called drenched kulcha. Oh. Kulcha wet in chane. The recipe <clears throat> is before the partition of India and Pakistan. <laughs> so this is very unique. Pakistan and India were one country called Hindustan. Is that right? Yes. When did that division? Happened, do you know? 1947. Yeah, should we go try some? Yeah, we're in line here, and I'm not a host, I'm just a regular guy in line for food. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Okay, I don't know how this works. He's wearing completely all white, like me. just like you. That confidence here, the control and precision to be able to work all day with these kind of brown sauces and just be flawless like an angel. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Just one thing on the menu here. No, they have like my pizza and also. Mm. Which one are we getting? We're getting Viga one. Oh, this one. Okay, so he puts the bread inside <clears throat> this huge bowl of chickpeas, puts the bread back on oh, the plate. Geez. Pour chole on top. Oh, man. An onion, a chili, oh, food porn, food porn. Wait. Oh, <laughs> that is heavy. Oh, it's really soaked up with sauce. Let's go eat it. 
Here it is. Here you go, Wobbler's up. Grinch. Oh, I like that. And it is wet. It is heavy. This thing is massive, as in it has a lot of mass. Do you like eating with your hands or not? I think it's spoon, though. You prefer a spoon. Me too. I got a tiny bite right here, and I like to just get a little bit of a taste. <laughs> My audience loves a guy who takes big bites. I like food. Ready? Ow. Mmm, it's a nice red. The last place was very crispy. This was Boy, that looks doughy. incredible. Mmm. And it has no ghee in it. Can I request ghee? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love her. Giggle every once in a while. <laughs> you silly white man. We're not shooting the same thing twice in a row. We're shooting it four times in a row, not twice. I want to see how big of a bite you can take. We all know that you are amazing at taking really small bites. Is that... My audience is feeling heartbroken and disappointed. They really appreciate a big bite. That's pretty big. Can you do it? And save your lipstick too? Okay, go for it. Boom. Indian cooking styles are just as versatile as the food itself. From street side stalls to mobile bicycle restaurants. And this man is delivering a tour de France of flavor. We're at our final chole destination. What dishes is he serving here? He's serving bun chane. It's an Indian burger. Bun is like a hamburger bun? Yeah. <coughs> like a vada pav? I was going to say, look, look like a vada pav. Bun chole. That's easy to remember. I mean, it's chole. It's not vada pav. Bun chane. The bun is prepared the same way it looks like. Put it together and you No, got. no. Don't look anything like it. No, nope. that looks just delicious. the bun. The bun does. So he puts on some butter. It's ghee. Guys, calm down. It's ghee. So inside here, I see beef and I see potato. potato. Yeah. Coriander. It's actually a loo. And this is a chutney. What kind of chutney? Potato. That's true. Is he going to kind of mash that up? He's going to mix it. I just realized. Ooh. Potato argent. And then he's got this nice little machine. No, he's here, alu. Squeezing in some fresh citrus. I think alu is A L O O. Yeah. And then alu is A L L U. Yeah. <laughs> Potato. So we have our Indian burger here. I'm going to show you, Kai, right here. I mean, uh, that looks good. Uh, that look at that crispy. slit. On the outside, mm. toasted in that ghee. I'm so pumped. We're going to try it out. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. put my so mouth cool. all on that. There's always somebody mm. in the background staring. Yep. A lot of flavor. That is super salty. Maybe a little too salty for me, but I really like the big chunks of onion in there, and it's a little crunchy. Potato. And the potato, too. What kind of people are eating here? Normally, it's college girls. Just anybody who wants a cheap treat, 14 cents only. And I do like the bread. Oh. Very nice on there. It's very convenient. You could drive to school while eating this. Who's going to shoot then? That's a good point. Try it. It's beautiful, Hannah. Satiating <coughs> just plain satisfying. Now I need some lassie. Food is. It's hard for a meat lover like me to believe all we ate today was pure vegetarian. If you have a chance, don't miss the tandoori kulcha with about half a stick of butter. Taste wise, it's like looking into the eyes of God. Wow. <laughs> it what looks like it. I agree with you. All this chole with you. She kept her shirt clean. Stain free. That's pretty good. You made it through four locations of this soupy brown food and ended up clean on the other side. If you want to check out more about Diksha, she is on Instagram right here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam. Churi Bathuri. That's a funny chula. Yeah. That was your favorite region, food wise. Food wise? Yeah. Yeah, a thousand yeah. percent. Yeah. Uh, Punjabis are my people. Yep. Um, they drink a lot, and they have delicious food. I mean, we had great food everywhere. Everywhere. No, no doubt. Um, that one video that we never got to put out when we went to that place at nighttime that I forget what it was called had the spiciest food. Mm. We had, we, in Mumbai? Yeah, uh, no, the group? Rajasthan. Oh, oh, the one at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just the four of us. Yeah, we were just exhausted. Yeah, right down walking distance from the Golden Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, that's Amritsar. That's Amritsar. I'm... Uh, Talking in uh, Jaipur. Oh, you're talking in Jaipur. The, we, we went at night. We didn't never got to release this video. It had all these stalls of like the cultural different things. <sighs> it had the stalls of different cultural. Things. Yeah, yeah. So like we we watched like performers do some things. Oh, yeah, yeah with then, the torches and stuff. And then we sat down. Yes, yes, yes. That food was the spiciest. Yeah. But granted, when we went to the palace, that food was amazing. <laughs> that food was amazing. The restaurant in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Where we the guy the chef came out oh, oh goodness gracious but yeah the, overall I mean what we had in in Amritsar was oh such good food the vatapav that we got right when we arrived the stupid babies that had that for us that was spicy as hell delish I remember oh uh, and they tried to feed me 
and yeah. I punched them. <laughs> I think it was. I'm trying to remember. Do you remember who like fed you? I think it was was Tilotama in, in Mumbai. Was it Tilotama? I no Tilotama met us in Delhi. Um, Shreya. No, she was with she was with us in Mumbai with Shreya. You sure? No. Then she was in both places. Maybe. Because I remember saying goodbye to Tilotam outside of that chai stall in New Delhi. I don't know. Could have sworn. Anyway. But I was I was pretty sure. I remember Shreya feeding Indrani. I don't know who fed you. I was scared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember because it happened so much. But when we did the meet and greet in the mall in Mumbai and it was my birthday... The amount of sweets that people brought up, did you let them feed you? Because I, I had countless people shoving food in my mouth. No. No? Not once? I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that! <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was very sweet. They sang a very nice happy birthday. We always complain in the movies that they're always dreadful. They did a good happy oh, birthday. Yeah, they did. Um, That's because they're stupid babies. They're, not, they're not idiots. Both meet us. We had a lot of people. We had a lot of beautiful, like, beautiful people. More, more than I thought we were, we were going to get. In yeah. I'm, anyways, that's not what this is about. Yeah. Wonderful video, as Great always. Great video. Uh, he has some of my favorite videos. Yep. Um, let us know all the food videos if we've missed any from this gentleman oh, or one of the food videos. And hopefully mm. one day we'll be able to go back uh, to India. Yeah. It'd be cool. I, I've thought about it before. And but my kids are just way too young right now. Of like... We go and, like, we live in Mumbai for, like, six months or something like that for, like, work. And then we could, like, do other things. Mm. You can't do that with Indrani right now. My kids are too young right now. Yep. But I think it would be cool. Oh. Like, I, I wouldn't mind doing it one day. I, uh, I think it would be cool for kids to see a different culture and, and grow up. I and, could, and I like could that. easily have oh, yeah. a travel channel stuff where you yeah, just yeah. go to different places. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's just at this time in our lives, yeah, uh, for government reasons or children reasons, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. difficult right now. Uh, anyways, fantastic video. Uh, let us know what the videos we can react to down below. Josh!